Hello everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So I have a slightly different style of video to share with you guys today. I'm in the middle of working on a magazine commission. Now this one is um, Layered Peonies and it's for Simply Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 203 and this is the, um, the cover gift that you get with it. So it's currently January for me filming this today and I've completed most of my projects but I just thought I would come along and share with you my last project that I'm going to make. So um, you're probably wondering what, what this black thing is here. So basically, as I'm on the design team, the design team members um, are the first to kind of get to play with the um, the gift um, stamp sets and dies. So not all of the artwork is finished and completed. All we need bit really is the, um, the stuff that we're going to be using for our project. So I've been commissioned to make uh, six projects for this uh, peony and uh, stamp and die set. So I've put together a few projects already, so I'm gonna show you those, and then I'm gonna quickly finish off my last um, project for this one. So this is a gift bag. So this is the kind of the color scheme that I have, um, I've been asked to work with. So I've made a little gift bag here using the, um, the gift bag punch board, and it's been ages since I've used this. I'm just trying to reach it try not to let everything fall that would not be good here we go i've had to dust this off actually it's a bit dusty so this one is by we are memory we are memory keepers but um for a while stamping up carried them this is not available at stamping up anymore but it's by we are memory keepers and you can buy this on amazon so i've gone for the medium so that is the gift bag there really super easy and i've just used a glue gun there to get the ribbons in that'd be lovely with a bit of tissue paper stuffed in there so for my next project oh, I'm dropping it for my next project some of these are not finished because I will do my finishing touches right before um, I'm ready for them to go so this is a lovely little like squishy fat sort of um, milk carton box so I absolutely adore this colorway here with the mint blue and the um, fuchsia pink I absolutely love that especially when you mix it with a lovely leafy green as well so that is the milk box and in the magazine it's going to have all the dimensions so if you wanted to make these go ahead so this is a really easy make this one hasn't been finished yet but this is basically just a jar candle and I've just decorated it with the die set and it's the stamp and the die set so to burn the candle just take that off otherwise it's going to make a lovely ornament and then here we have a lovely cube box. The, again, this one is not finished as well. I, I do kind of just get to this sort of level and then I just do the tiny, tiniest bits of um, finishing touches. So I'll probably add some tiny punched out hearts, maybe in some glitter paper just to finish that off. That's that. I think that's all it's going to need. So that is a two by two cube box. Again, the dimensions are in the magazine. So let's pop this here. And then, here I have a lovely little gift frame here. So this is a picture frame, not a gift frame, a picture frame. And I've just decorated it inside. Uh, there isn't even a photograph in there. I just think that's a lovely little ornament as well. So um, I have been commissioned to make six. So let's move on with making it the sixth item. And I've decided that's going to be a scrapbook page because I just love the leaves, the flowers, and it just calls for me to do a a small scrapbook page so I've got I've kind of cut stuff out already so we're gonna be able to do it we, we are, uh, I can't talk today we are going to be doing an 8x8 scrapbook page so this measures 8x8 this inner one measures 7 3 quarters by 7 and 3 quarters and before we move on to that we need to make another one of these roses here so I just want to demonstrate how easy this is to um, to use so let's grab a piece of paper I'm going to be just using ordinary white cardstock here. If I can grab it, mostly everything is within reaching distance. Let's move this out of the way first. There we go. So let's grab everything we're going to be needing. So we'll do the outline first. You can do this in any order you want. You can do it in the backwards order. You can even use this without the um, the outline. It actually looks quite nice. Just, just without the outline as well, so it's kind of like a, a no water cut, no line watercolor look. So I'm going to be using Versafine. So let's get that stamped now first. And another thing what I'm going to use is a little bit of foam. This is a foam mirror, actually. This is what you would use for um, making um, 
artificial flowers so it's very thin it's called foam mirum or you can just use a bit of um uh, ordinary fun foam so let's pop that underneath it it makes it the perfect surface and if you want to you can use your um mm. a stamping platform would be absolutely perfect for this and that's how i stamped all of my roses today but i'm just going to quickly demonstrate how easy it is to use to do this without a stamping platform so here we have the second one now so i have um seasoned my photopolymer stamps i've gone over with a rubber and then I've rinsed it off with a baby wipe and then I've dried it with a cloth and then I've rubbed my fingers over it just like so and that has that helps it to be seasoned and here I'm using a, me a memento rosebud this is in rosebud it's a dewdrop ink pad I think it's it's a dye it's a fade resistant dye ink so let's tap that all over just like so and if you're using a stamp platform you can stamp it twice if you're not happy with the first go so let's get that stamped down there we go. and having the foam underneath is really going to help with an even stamp I do have a little bit missing there so again I'm just going to go over it again this is why it's really good to use the stamp platform there we go and let's move on to the next one so we have three steps here, so we're going to be using the rose next. Sorry, the um, the detail on the rose. But let's pop that on, and then I'm going to go for a slightly darker ink. You wouldn't think the, that these two would go together, but they do. So this one is called rhubarb stalk. Let's get that put on. And there are some tiny um, lines there to help you line line it up with the rest of the stamp. There we go. And there we have our layered rose. And then we have this die here, and then that's going to cut that out perfectly. And then we also do have another layering die here um, if you wanted to do another one next to it you can cut out the center as well so this these squiggly lines here are going to join up with this um, petal just there so if you wanted to cut that one out and have a sort of like a layered effect to your rose you could do that too okay so I've already got all of my roses ready now so now we can start building up our little scrapbook page so the photo I have chosen to use today is one of my daughter and um, this was the first time she sat up in the back garden when she was a baby well she's now a preteen so she's answering back and refusing to wash her hair and you know stuff like that so we're at that stage now she's no longer this little, little cute baby well she's still very cute but you know what I mean when you say a cute baby so we're going to be using this one this is a four by six photo and I've I've cut it out so it, it does have a white border and then I've just manually mounted it onto some mint cardstock and all the cardstock that I'm using here today is hunky dory adorable scorable so they are in the middle of um, bringing out some brand new um, adorable scorable shades in a new range so I'm really looking forward to getting that so I'm really excited about that so I've cut out a circle here, I've die cut it, so let's give you a measurement. I just went for the, the die that I thought was right, so this measures around about 5 inches, I'm not going to give you any exact measurements here, so if you're making a bigger 12 by 12, you know, just go for a, a bigger circle, or just stick with one from this side. So I'm thinking about having a cluster like this, I'm having this under there, so I've chopped it in. I've chopped a little section off using my paper trimmer and we're putting it on like so. I think I might just go a bit lower on there. There we go. I'm happy with that. So let's get those stuck down. I'm just going to use a bit of glue here and then I'm going to use some foam pads on the photograph. There we 
So just to make sure I get that in the right place, put the photograph back. Let's move that down a little bit. Yep. Okay, so this one's going to go here. If you do hear any booming or banging or anything like that, um, my husband has the day off and he's watching Lord of the Rings downstairs and he has a speaker system that is loud enough to wake the dead so um, I know my camera microphone picks everything up, it really does, it, it picks up the traffic that I can't actually hear myself but when I'm editing I can hear the traffic going past and I'm like, oh, I can't actually hear that when I'm actually sitting here so I know it's a good microphone, it picks things up. So yes, if you hear any rumbling or orcs screaming or sword fights perhaps, I don't know. That's what you can hear. So that's taken off some of the backing on that one. So I love using um, <clears throat> foam pads for this just layering up especially on the scrapbook pages it's the same when you build up your layers and your card making and um, scrapbooking card making isn't too different except you're just adding photographs that's it really on a bigger scale some people can have trouble moving over to doing that but if you think of it that way it's kind of like the same right so let's get this down and now I'm going to have um, two clusters on there so I'm thinking I have some yellow here some lovely yellow roses I think something like that and again something I really love to do is just add leaves so I've just stamped out some of the leaves from the die set and I'm just adding those around this really does just give it that lovely floral botanical feel huge fan of botanical things so I don't think I craft often enough in this style so I really need to kind of you know get started on that again I think it's definitely my style ass ah, pop that down so what I'm doing now is I'm just arranging these clusters kind of in the place where I, I want them to go so that would look nice over there I moved everything so let's try and get everything kind of back where it was and I'm gonna have another one up here <clears throat> my cluster's not going to be as big up the top here as it is down there and then I can add some more leaves lovely leaves There we go, and my daughter's name begins with a K, so I have an alphabet here. That kind of gets lost a little bit, so I die cut another one. I've got some more leaves here I can add. Die cut another one, so we can layer them up. That still kind of gets lost, so we'll turn that around, and I think that looks okay just like that. So that's kind of the style that I'm going to be going for and the alphabet that I've used is from Card Making Magic now this is solid letter dies it also comes with some other another letter die set that does the um, a pattern on the inside but I like it just plain bold and solid so this is a very very loved um, alphabet stamp <coughs> alphabet dies that I use I use these a lot especially when I'm doing a scrapbook so I've taken the K from that one so I'm more or less happy now with how that looks so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue everything down so let's start with the top corner first I'm going to add some glue here and then we have a little dip here now where we this is raised up so I'm just going to add a foam pad just to the top section of the rose just there pop that just here there we go and now we can start adding our leaves underneath 
So I'm just going to add glue to the top sections here. So again, this this layout that I'm doing is absolutely perfect for um, a mini album page layout as well. Because basically, a mini mini album is just basically um, lots of mini scrapbook pages on the inside. Let's put that there. There we go, and now we can add some of our little leaves here. There we go, and as you can see, I've only added glue to the bottom, so these are kind of like this. This gives it more dimension. Right, so let's work on the bottom cluster now. <clears throat> so I am just going to just add these with glue just like that. So let's just get these on there. I'm going to go up a bit higher just to create a little bit more balance. I found that this section down here was a bit bottom heavy. So I'm just going to work our way up a little bit higher for this one. That's the good thing about laying everything out as you go. There we go. And I'm also creating a feature where the page flows from the bottom left and it flows all the way up to the top right. And the way that my um, daughter's look kind of looking this way, it goes in with the flow in the direction. If she was looking the other way, it would be the opposite and it would flow slightly differently. So I kind of planned it to go this sort of way. So now we can add leaves under here <clears throat> there we go and then add some leaves under there And then before, <coughs> my voice is going very funny today. <coughs> so before we add any more leaves after this one, I am just going to add the K now. So I liked it layered, so let's add some glue just to the under section and let's layer these together. And then I'm just going to add it on just like so. So there's loads of different places you can put your K. You can have a little, little play there. That kind of looks good there actually. I'm not covering base. And up in the corner you could put it up there too. You'd have to add some more leaves I would say to kind of decorate it. It all depends on... There's no right or what right or wrong way to do this so there's loads of different ways you can add add things so I'm just going to go to the bottom corner here I'm going to keep working on this cluster and then I'm going to add <coughs> just some more foam pads here one's too big I'm gonna have to give that another trim let's just go for a smaller one there we go okay so having it raised up on the pads is going to give it a little bit more dimension because it creates a bit of a shadow as well so now I can carry on adding some more leaves and again um, if this was for my personal um, scrapbook album I would add some journaling probably to this spot up here but as it's going in the magazine I'm not going to um, that's probably a bit too much now I probably need some more down here let's add some, I had another leaf there yeah. 
I'm not adding too much glue. This is pretty strong glue. This is Cosmic Shimmer. And one more. Should we pop it here? Yeah, that looks good there. Always audition it first. And there we go. So the, I'm going to call that done. I may just add a few more um, finishing touches that are going to match the rest of the project. But I'm really happy with how that looks. And I think that's going to look great in the magazine, especially when it's going to get a proper photo shoot as well. So it's all going to look really, really nice. They, you know, they, they use all the right colours and, and maybe a few accessories in the background as well. So they do a really, really good job there at the photo studio. So I'm really pleased with that one. So that is for Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue number 203. So those are six projects that I've made using the uh, the gift that comes with the, um, the magazine. Where's the other one? I've got one, two, three, four. Where are my other ones? Here we are. Five and oops, six. There we go. The bottom of the box fell off. But anyway, I'll pick that up in a moment. So those are some lovely projects that you can make with your gift set. So thank you for joining me today. You can buy the magazine. Um, I forgot to mention, you can order the magazine from Craft Stash. I'll make sure that the list that, that it's listed down below. And you can also get international delivery for that magazine as well. I know it's quite, quite, quite um, a fast delivery service as well. So thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you again next time.